In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can see here I have created a, a effect which is looks like a kind of a paper folding from one side where you can add the icon, the title and you can add some detailed text and I have added the option number one here and with a different color combination it comes with the option two, option three and option four. So depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangle top corners rounded, draw a rectangle and then I'm going to rotate it with the help of the alt and the right arrow key or you can just use this arrow to change also depending on the requirement. I'm going to reduce the width and increase the length of this one and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved at one end shape outline i'm going to make it no outline the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more rectangle which is the rectangle rounded corner draw a rectangle rounded corner again make sure that this one is also curved from the both the ends shape outline no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some different colors so that we can differentiate let me just bring it down and here i'm going to put the Can you see here something like this make sure that you have to align it properly at this corner yeah it should not be like this or it should not be here make sure it is aligned with this one all right once this is done the one part of the this particular rectangle from the bottom i'm going to cut it okay so for this i'm going to use the same thing press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give a different color here increase the width of this and i'm going to cut this much part you can see here all right so let me just put it somewhat up and then select this shape hold the shift key select this one go to the shape format merge shape and subtract and bring this down so you can see here it looks kind of a curved paper here if you put it like this it will not be correct okay so you have to make sure that it is something like this so once this is done then i would like to add one more fold here for this i'm going to again use the same uh, shape which is rounded corner rectangle and this time is a smaller one again make it fully curved shape outline no outline shape will give some different color so that we know exactly what we are trying to do and here you don't need to cut anything you can just send this back so you can see here there's one more fold happen and I would like to add one more fold here. Press Ctrl D also again. Give some different color. Reduce the size. And make it like this. And now here from the bottom I am going to cut once again. So select this one. Press Ctrl D. Give some different color. So we know exactly what we are trying to do here. And I am going to cut it like this select this one hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and subtract and then send this back so you can see here this is one fold another fold and one more fold here all right so we have got three folds now the next thing is we have to give the right coloring for this okay for this select this particular shape right mouse click go to the format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill gradient fill here i have used this color that's the reason it is coming if you want you can just uh, choose any color of your choice so first of all i'm going to make only two stops the first stop maybe i'm going to use the color let's talk about this one which is the orange color i'm going to select this click ok so this is one color and another end i'm going to use some more darker color of that maybe this one and click ok and here the direction always it should be this side the darker should be on the right side okay okay because here we have changed the shape that's the reason it is coming so i'm going to select this one yeah so you can see here the shape is comes like this 
and then I'm going to select the same uh, color, the gradient color for this object as well. So I'm going to select this one, go to the home, format painter and click it here. Okay. And again, this also you need to change it, the direction. All right. So you can see here, but the direction it is not looking, you know, it is kind of a merging. So I'm going to give a more darker color here. So I'm going to add one more stop. So the first stop here, go to the more colors, go to the custom, increase the shade and click OK. So you can see here, it looks like kind of a folding effect here. All right. Then here also, I'm going to give the same color, which is say kind of a light orange color. Click OK. Yeah. And here also, I'm going to give some more darker color so that it looks should look like kind of a folded color and click OK. So it looks something like this. You can see here it appears it is as if this is folding here. Now let me just select all the objects and move it up, which looks something like this and then hold the control shift key, bring it down. OK, and here I'm going to move a little bit towards the right side. OK, for the second option and make sure that this one is we have to increase the size so I can just go to the shape format here and I can just increase the size here. You can see. Yeah. And now what we have to do is we have to just select this one and give different color options. So for this dark color, I'm going to use maybe a darker blue here. We can see here. Click OK. And here a lighter blue. Click OK. So it's lighter blue and dark blue and here more darker. So I'm just going to use somewhat dark blue here, which is this one. Click OK and then I'm going to choose the other color combination, which we have already used here. So you can see here and again this one also you can choose a somewhat lighter color. Click OK and here you can give some more darker blue color. OK, maybe I'm going to use this one and click OK. So it looks something like this. All right. So now it's very easy for me. Again, I'm going to select these objects. OK, and hold the control shift key, bring it down. Uh, OK, sorry. Hold the control shift key, bring it down. And now this time I would like to change it till here only. OK. So you can see here till here I'm going to keep it and then for this I'm just going to reduce the size like this here and then we need to just change the color according to the requirement. So for this you can just change the color again. So I'm going to just give one more example here how to change the colors again select the darker one go to the colors go to the more colors here maybe I'm going to use some kind of a green color. So here I'm going to use some dark green. Uh, let's see this color dark green click OK and then here I'm going to give a lighter green and then here also more dark three shades I'm going to give all right so first of all the dark green this one then the one which we have just used which is this one and the lighter one so you can see here and now it's easy for me. I can just give the similar color and here some more darker color. So you can see here we have added this one again, depending on the requirement. If you like to add one more, you have to just select this and you have to just bring it down by holding the control shift key. So I'm just going to uh, keep only these three items only and then then I'm going to add the icons to it. So let me just add some three random icons and depending on the requirement, you need to choose the relevant icons for your slide. So I'm just going to choose some this one object, this one, this icon and maybe this icon and click insert three icons inserted here. I'm going to reduce the size to 0 0.7 and I'm going to place one by one here. So this is the first one, this is the second and this is the third and for these three objects I'm going to give the, the icon color white and give some 
shadow effects here so you can see here i'm just going to give some shadow effects which is this and if you would like to add the shadow increase or decrease you can go to the effects and you can increase the distance here you can see here so depending on the requirement you can just adjust this then insert the text the title first make it bold and put it here and then i'm going to add one line effect of one line here just add one straight line by holding the shift key and you can just change the outline to white color and then you can insert some detailed text here add detailed text here again the font color i'm going to use as white and reduce the font size to 14 or 12 and then i'm going to duplicate this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to add the option number here which is one center align make it big and the font color i'm going to make it white so it looks something like this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these objects of the first option only and press ctrl g to group it so it has become one group here all right and before that one we would like to add uh, this one so let me just ungroup this one you can to ungroup press ctrl shift g to ungroup why because i'm just going to add duplicate this one the option number here ctrl d you can see here so this is my option number three this is my option number two and this three information only by holding the control shift key i'm just going to bring it down again hold the control shift key bring this down so once this is done let me just group it now okay so i'm going to select this one press ctrl g the bottom one i'm going to select here press ctrl g and make sure that all the objects are selected and then this one and press ctrl g so you can see here all these object got selected and it has grouped and then we can add some animation effects so go to the animations enable the animation pane so i'm going to select these three objects and i can use uh, maybe a fly in fly in i'm going to choose from left which comes like this and this should come on click okay so i'm going to select on click so if i play this is the one the second and this is the third option and if you like to add some shadow effect also which i've done like this you can add some shadow effect and group it so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options as well